Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we will write a simple Python program where our program will have a number in mind and the user or we have to guess that number. Now, if we guess the number right, then the program will say, yes, you got the right number. Else, depending on the number that we have entered, the program will display some appropriate message. So now here, the first thing that we do is we will declare a variable and we will store the number that the program will have in its mind. So I'm going to call this variable as my num or, you know, you guys can give any name. And uh, for the time being, we will store three in this variable. Now later we will use the random number generator and we will store a random number in this uh, variable. But right now uh, we will store only three here. And after that, I'm going to use the print function. And uh, here we're going to display a message saying that I have a number in my mind. Can you guess it? Now after that, we will ask the user to enter his guess and we have to take the input from the user so we will use the input function and we will say enter your guess now the number that the user is going to enter uh, will be returned by this input function as a string value but we want the number so we will convert that to integer type and after that we will store that in a variable and i'm going to call this variable as user num okay now the number that the program will have in its mind is in between zero and nine. Maybe um, we can specify that here, for example, zero to nine. Okay. And uh, now uh, we have the number that the program has in its mind and also the number that the user has guessed. So now we can compare these two numbers and uh, we can uh, see whether the user has guessed the number right or not. So we will use the if conditional statement and the condition here will be if my num that is the number that the program has in its mind is equal to user num that is the number guessed by the user then we will say yes you are right. So I'm going to use the print function and uh, I'm going to say yes you are right okay now if the number the program has in its mind is greater than the number entered by the user then we will display some uh, message so we will have the l if and here the condition will be if the minum variable is containing a value which is greater than the value present in this user num variable then we will say um, my number is greater than the number you entered so here it will be my number is greater than the number you entered. Now we will have the else part. And if we come to the else part, then it means that the number entered by the user is greater than the number the program has in its mind. So um, so in that case, we will display a message. I just want to copy and paste this here. And I'm going to say smaller than the number you entered. Now here, if the user is going to enter a number which is equal to the number the program has in its mind, then we will say, yes, you're right. If the number the program has uh, thought is greater than the number entered by the user, then we will say my number is greater than the number you have entered. Else we will say my number is smaller than the number you have entered. So uh, now we will run this program and then we will uh, make some modifications. Now I'm going to run this. Um, I have a number in mind between 0 and 9. Can you guess it? Um, let's say 6. It says my number is smaller than the number you entered. That's because the program has the number 3 in its mind, but I have entered 6. So the program's number 3 is smaller than the number that I have entered. So that's why it has displayed this message. And also I got only one chance at guessing that number. So now we will make some modifications so that as long as I enter the wrong guess, I get to enter another time. So to do that, what we do is we will use a while loop or, you know, we can use any loop, but I'm going to use the while loop and I'm going to make this while loop as an infinite loop. So it will run forever. But in this logic, we will uh, make some modifications so that the while loop will terminate at some point. So now here, um, this code that I have written will run infinitely. So what we, what I want to do is when the user is going to get the proper number or when the user is going to guess the right number, 
we will stop asking the user to enter another number as a guess so here in this if part we will add the break statement so that the while loop can terminate here and also i want to make some modifications to this uh, message that will be displayed in here for example after displaying this message we will say try again and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the end line equal to and then i'm going to insert a couple of new lines so that the output can uh, look pretty and also we will do the same thing for this message so copy and paste that and then we will run this program now here uh, i have a number in mind can you guess it enter the guess i'm gonna say seven and it says my number is smaller than the number you entered try again now i can guess again so this time i'm gonna say maybe two it says my number is greater than the number you have entered so uh, here i can understand that the number is smaller than seven and greater than two so it may be like um, four it says my number is smaller than four so now i know that number is greater than two and smaller than four so it is three and it says yes you're right now the uh, program is working properly and uh, the problem here is whenever we run this program the number the program has in its mind is always three that's because we have uh, manually specified that number what if we can modify this program so that it can have a random number in its mind every time so that will be fun so so here what we do is we will generate a random number and we will store that in this my num variable so now i'm going to import the random module and then i'm going to generate a random number and i'm going to store that in this my num variable so it will be random dot rand int it will generate a random number which will be an integer and i can specify the range so the number has to be in our range between 0 and 9 so now if i save this program and if i run this and this time um, enter your guess i'm gonna say maybe number is 2 it says my number is smaller than the number you have entered try again maybe let's say 1 number is smaller than one so it has to be zero so it will be zero now let's run this one more time and uh, this time let us say seven maybe uh, number is smaller than seven so let us say three yes the number is three so you know we can uh, guess this so um, the program is working fine now um, now we can add a lot of other features for example uh, you can only give three chances for the user to guess and uh, you can do all those modifications if you make any modifications then uh, share your code in the comment section of this video uh, this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video